Welcome back to Kruznik Sanctuary and Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Kruznik X here along with Lord Phyrax. He's somewhere. Uh, Ichigo and Halabali. Hello. And she's away from the keyboard at the moment. Or away uh, from her headset at the moment. Fair enough. Uh, Tenma, who is also AFK. And Arya Stormborn. What kind of... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Anyways, story so far. We have... We have a Ilsebard... The Ilsebard contingent... Oh, she's back. Okay, the story so far, the Ilsebard contingent has been assembled, and we are ready to take the fight to Garlemald. So, let's get right down to it, and talk to Zataru for the level 82 quest, A Frosty Reception. I'm told the airship pilot has been sent to meet you. Ah, there he is! All right. This is where we go our separate ways. Do be careful, won't you? What? I'm always careful. Oh, looks like yeah, this is a solo you, duty. Yeah, I was gonna tell you, but but enter a solo area. <laughs> oh wait, what am I doing? Disband. I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> I keep forgetting I can do that. All right, let's speak to the Ironworks pilot. It is an honor to finally meet you. We of the Garland Ironworks will be ferrying you and your contingent across the mountains and into Ilsebard. Into Galdemar. Galdemar. For many of us, it'll be something of a homecoming. Our illustrious founder was only our most notable Imperial defector. For that reason... The company is committed to the success of this expedition. With all resource, our resources are at your disposal. And if there is aught we might do to be of further assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. If you are ready to depart, I will ready the engines. Upon boarding the airship, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. In addition, you will re be required to participate in battle. Your progress will be saved at certain points. In the event that you are defeated, you will be able to try again from the most recent of these. Please note that if you enter battles associated with other quests or log out from the game, this progress will be lost. Alright. Let's rock. Ilsebard, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, what? in the frozen wastes of the This airship! The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. Wow, Lucia wearing white armor! Received word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They have sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps. 
Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports that they're led by Vagilia, legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. Aha! Uh -huh. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the civil war. Yet now, <coughs> these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Yeah, because they're brainwashed. Then it is all but certain they have been killed. <coughs> so, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald. The very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings? Disarmament and imprisonment? Mm. Not impossible. But easier said than done in the heat of battle. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest? He did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitek armaments, and once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Okay. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. Okay, before we continue, can we just can I just ask how the fuck is Arun not freaking cold wearing those short shorts? The first will form the vanguard, while the Seriously. other brings up the rear with our supplies. Maybe. But he's a white mage, not a black mage. As for the Scions, I the ask elements don't bother him. Assistance where you deem it needed most. Or, put it another way, the cold doesn't bother him anyway. You accompany the rear guard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. All right. I'm going to need a bottle of water for this. And to stop hitting my screenshot button 15 million times. Huh. Whoa, Thancred rocking the Bolsian gear. Your proposal was well received. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperials' toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. Ishtolar always did have a flair for the dramatic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. All right, once more for my peace of mind. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's Magitek with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. Our second will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much needed upper hand. A blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan, and we should all live to see tomorrow. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. 
You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I, wasn't I always do. Am I playing as Thancred for this one, or? I wish you the best of luck. I know. All right, let's see what I've got. Nebula. <coughs> oh, hello, Sneak. Okay, so I've got my solid barrel combo. Nebula for reducing damage. What the frick? Uh, Arya, are you on one of the remotes? Because it just switched me to YouTube on the TV. Oh, Jay! Uh, that's... <sighs> that's, that, that's my diabolical doing. I have control over your screen. Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count.
bosses. This is Thancred. The explosives are in place. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control terminal. It should be to the northwest. Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. Losing my touch. Seven hells.
Got kind of quiet over there. Everything good? Yeah, just made it. Yeah, we're good. Sorry, I I had to concentrate, and I had my mic muted. Oh, I gotta withdraw from... Made it. Just finished Thancreds. You are returned. None the worse for wear, to my considerable relief. What news from our comrades? They stand at the ready. Excellent. Then let the fireworks begin. Well, they wanted fireworks. We gave them fireworks. A few moments later, at the rear of the Ilsebard contingent supply caravan. You can you stealth can be used for eight the seconds. Beginning to clear. So the vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now. If they are not ready. <coughs> Ishtola and the others are with them, so I'm sure they'll be all right, but... <gasps> Wait! Something's coming! Here we go. Looks like we ain't I never tried, but I figured it wouldn't work too well. Keep them away from the carriages. <laughs> we lose those, and we're as good as dead. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, who are we playing as? Me? No. You're not playing as me. You're playing as you. In the coming battle, you will fight as Chris Valentine. Protect, protect the How is the battle going over there? Keeping a man lane safe right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to
fine display, but the other carriages are still in danger. Go on ahead. We'll hold the line. We're the only ones still struggling. Time we put our backs into the pit. I've been itching for a good snack. Damn! Now he's... <coughs> that big bastard's going straight for the carriages! Stop it in its tracks! Quick! Broadside it! Got him. You look all right back there? <coughs> We're fine. I'm ready for more. With a uh, Thangrid section, it's kind of like playing Metal Gear Solid almost. Hear that? Yeah, a little bit. Get to the front and turn the tide. Heading north. Meanwhile, on the front line... the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. It's nothing that won't heal in time. <laughs> the trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is the path our young charges would have us walk, and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. Who am I playing as this time? Let's take her down. Looks like we're playing as Lee. There's no end to them. Or maybe not. <coughs> well, looks like I made it. I was wondering when you turn up. There's no stopping us now. 
Come on. Let's show them what we're made of. My caravan is safe for the time being, and Thangrid's team have thrown the enemy into disarray. Don't think you have to go up against every magic attack. Just, you can sneak past the slashers. Now it's our turn! Oh, here comes Pippin! Damn! His adopted father is rubbed off on him! That didn't come out right. Get up. manage. Man, Virgilia is fucking tough! Keep the war machine for day! That's better.
fodder for my flames! So many! At this rate, we'll be overwhelmed! More of them! Quick! Lend Saru a hand! Make way! These whelps will rule the day they cross my path! None shall escape my chain! Now is your chance to strike! Rest, recover, reclaim yourself. Then we will fight again to the death. Sadu Hatun. And Magna is totally dissed. That was the last of them. The day is ours, thanks to your timely arrival. What of the supply caravan? Taken care of. Mm. Outmaneuvered, but not outmatched. Good. <coughs> Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades. And soon we shall arrive at the capital. So cold and unforgiving, thus spoke Empress Solace as he gazed upon his barren domain. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi. After centuries of war, and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth. Freezing, hungry, desperate, hated. Nah. The Chosen Forsaken. Well, I made it. In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitech revolution. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Ceruleum? Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed. Bitterly so. I'm gonna have to help Arya after these cutscenes. 
I'll get you through. But we're in Garlemald. Not so much as a whisper. <laughs> The roads leading beyond the city Wait, walls would have been when did less Lucia's in years. armor turn back to silver or bronze or whatever. The <laughs> Her buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. <laughs> We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone. So, this place is broken glass now? I don't know. That's the, my impression. Camp broken glass. Yep, should have known. Seems kind of seems kind of stupid, but eh, could be worse. N naming conventions. All right, we're attuned. You don't have a chocobo porter here. Well. We've made it at least. Mend up before we. Wow. My gear has not been taking any damage. Weird. Alright, let's speak with Alpha now. In spite of the obstacles we've faced, our plan proceeds apace. Just a little farther, and we'll and we will reach the capital itself. Still. We mustn't get ahead of ourselves. As soon as the camp has been made fit for purpose, we are to discuss a course of action with Lucia. Would you mind asking Ishola and Graha to join us in their building to the northeast <coughs> of the camp? Alice and I will meet you there. There's Ishola. A meeting? Yes, I'll make my way over there once my head is cleared. In truth, I've been feeling out of sorts since we've arrived. The air is thick with a palpable aura of malevolence. Tis the monstrous tower on the horizon. Jagged. Hideous. Empty. Unholy. Even at this distance, its presence is overwhelming. Much like the sensation I felt in the Tower of Zot only far more terrifying. Ether flows unceasingly towards it, converging into a swirling mass of unfathomable power. For a blessing, the constant chill in the air is helping to anchor my senses in the here and now. Tell the others I shall be with you in a few moments. All right, Graha, where are you at? There he is. Oh, and he's rocking the rebel coat. I should have rocked that myself, but... You will be pleased to know that most of the tempered have been quartered inside the nearby buildings and are receiving treatment as we speak. I do, however, feel no small amount of guilt for commandeering civilian homes. The occupants may be long gone, but everything is exactly as they left it. Considering the length of time that has clearly passed since, no one would expect to find them ransacked. Strangely, there are no signs of anything having been stolen. It's possible that everyone fled at the first time of trouble, though it seems to me they left far too many useful possessions behind. Aye, 
Although there is no conclusive evidence, I strongly suspect they were tempered. Sorry, I was merely thinking aloud. You mentioned a meeting? I will make my way there. Found. Ooh, this is comfy. Thank you for informing the others of our meeting. When everyone is here, we will begin. <laughs> All right. Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spell. Would you like a hand? <coughs> no, no, I am sure we will manage. <coughs> you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with ceruleum eaters that can keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. He's right. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinist will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Uh -huh. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now. This is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell. <coughs> Twould be my honor to be of service, though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. Yep. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhine. I would have you search the area for survivors. 
Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. Ice fields? I love ice fields! Oh wait, no I don't. Hmm. As ever, you do not want for enthusiasm. <laughs> but given your experience traipsing about through Curthus, I should be surprised if you let a little inclement weather dampen your redoubtable spirits. <laughs> and even if that were the case, the promise of hot soup upon your return would surely spur you to action. Okay, I like soup, so... You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the yeah, fury I come back to I like soup. <laughs> what kind of soup do you like? Uh, chicken noodle, beef stew, clam chowder. Occasionally a potato soup. Anyway, mm. let's speak with Alice. Can't be good. If it's this cold with Tataru's clothing, I try to think how we'd fare without it. I must remember to thank her when next we meet. It makes me realize, too, that... While the people of Gollumald have spent their whole lives in conditions like these, even they'd be hard-pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there are any survivors, we must find them, and quickly. Well, we'll find them soon enough. For now, though, we are going to take a break of the utmost import, because unfortunately for us, uh, one of our number must depart soon so sadly she will not be continuing the endeavor at least not for the moment but she should be with us on the next live stream but um no i mean i am gonna i am gonna do more but i mean i'm gonna help you catch up as well like when i get back from dropping you off that quest is getting done. <laughs> so, um, what I want you to do is take the time now to back up your settings. Because they're going on this PS5. Um, so, what quest are you on, Firex? You had to ask why there's a cutscene started. I'll let you know in a second. Uh, I, uh, I'm on a way forward. I'm on tracks in the snow. How far am I from you? Uh, uh, the so I'm good. There should be too far. Uh, 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 I would suggest doing both. <coughs> Uh, you can't be you can't be that much further uh, back from me. I'm just trying to find track my trail, see how far I can go back on my texting. I <coughs> just finished a frosty reception, so. Uh, journal. Here we go. Complete. Uh, in Walker Quest. You said you're on tracks in the snow. I'm a, yeah, that's my next quest on the list. You, uh, that is three quests, uh, back, so not too far. So y I'll still be behind you, though, so, because yeah. you'll probably get ahead of me. Um, so yeah, I'll try to catch up with you when I get back, but I gotta take care of Arya's quest line first. Oh, there you are. Yeah, where, 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 oh, there you are.
It doesn't need to be a big pack-up sesh. All you need is one bag and some snacks. Easy peasy. Your, your codeine's here. Your, a couple of your meds, I think, are over there. Or those might be mine. I don't know. Any hoozy. Um, so, with that being said, we will. I will be returning to continue this quest line in a little while. But until then, that's it for this episode of Cruise Next Sanctuary. Thank you to the following people for joining us. Little Miss Arya Stormborn. You're shorter than the rest of us. Uh, Tema Sabeda, who's still muted. Halabali Espada. Hey! Ichigo Kuchigi. Hello. And of course, Lord Fireaxe. Thank you all for joining us. You know it. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. As always, if you're watching on Twitch or live from PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button. Turn on notifications so you're well informed. And if you're feeling generous, subscribe for access to exclusive videos and live streams. If you're watching on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more. Click here to watch the previous episode. And click here to watch the next one. Until next time.